we were coming home from a trip and I was just like, I wasn't feeling well at all. And I said, I told Sid, I'm like, I just have this feeling. I don't know why, I just, I feel like I might be pregnant. He said, my body's doing all the weird things it does <laughs> when I'm pregnant. And I was like, what? So, so I made like, him stop, I made him stop at like a convenience store on the way home from the airport to pick up a pregnancy test. And then I found out um, that, day. that day, really like a week before Thanksgiving. Are you ready for this? Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Shay and Sid McGee are the hosts of the hit Netflix series, Dream Home Makeover. Welcome to your home. <laughs> the show follows Shay and Sid as they renovate houses with modest budgets and build million dollar mansions, making dreams come true for real families in search of their perfect home. I am just ready to make these dream homes come true. I agree completely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love getting to know our clients and the inspiration behind what makes them want to make their house feel more like home. I think that that's what's really resonating. And I, I also feel like we're showing that you can make a dream home out of a wide variety of spaces. Like dream home doesn't just mean a mansion. It can mean a really wide variety of styles and sizes. After the success of season one last fall, Netflix wasted no time rolling out season two earlier this month. I think we I, got to show a really wide range of projects in this season. Yes. So we start with a house that has like a huge basketball court in a barn and a living room that's like bigger than our first house. And then, you know, you do kind of like a 180 and we'll do like a studio apartment or a kitchen re renovation in a historic home. And so I think yeah. we we got a really wide range of projects and styles and that was really fun to um, share this year. When season one first dropped in October, 2020, Shay and Sid had already been running their own Studio McGee YouTube channel for the past four years. Today we are talking about everyone's favorite room in the home, the kitchen. I think that worked really well as like a launching off platform for us to become comfortable on camera, to kind of see um, what things we'd like to show and share, what our audience responded with, what they liked. So I think leading into our meeting with Netflix, at least um, what we've talked about is that gave us a really kind of a good idea of like, okay, if we were to do a show, what would it look like? Sid is there for the good looks because we know he didn't do any of the decorating. The newly minted TV stars first met back in 2006 while they both were attending college in Utah. So I played soccer with Shay's brother in college, just like an intramural team. And he was moving out of uh, his dorms to like a new apartment one day. I was like, I'll be a nice guy, I'll help you out. And then um, unknown to me, he had already had a conversation with Shay, like, hey, come over, bring the car that we share, the old Ford Exploder, and um, <laughs> we're gonna load it up. And my friend Sid is gonna be there I know you're gonna like him, but don't, cause he's like my friend, like he's mine. You know? He did give me that warning um, on my way over. And so he said, my sister's gonna come help. She pulls up really cute uh, in this car. I start checking her out. I could see her CD visor, <laughs> kind of tell that she had good taste in music, that we kind of had some crossover. And then I was like, this, this is pretty cute. Pretty I good. know, and then he asked yeah. her eventually he, that day, he asked her my note, phone number in front of my mom and brother. And I was like so nervous. So well, I was not nervous, I was embarrassed, but also excited at the same time. And then we started dating. I mean, we went on our first date like the next night. Shay and Sid were married two years later in 2008. And today they have two daughters, seven-year-old Ren and five-year-old Ivy, who both appear frequently on the show. You know, our girls don't even realize the cameras are there anymore for the most part. Mm -hmm. And they are just tr true to themselves. They are not camera shy. They steal the show in the best way. I mean, just <laughs> Ivy is like so sweet and Ren is like a little firecracker, always wanting to go and do and be active and do stuff. So they are integrated in what we do. I mean, they come along to job sites and they travel with us for work and they're just part of the team. And rumor has it, Team McGee will soon be adding a brand new member.
Yeah, we have some big news to announce. <laughs> we have baby number three on the way and we're so excited. Last time I had a baby, like I had another baby to take care of too. And so it was crazy. And now I'm feeling like our girls are going to really take on the responsibility of being helpers. And so they're, they're super really, excited. really they're excited. excited. Yeah. We waited to tell them on Christmas. And I mean, we, we wrapped up a little gift and it had a little book inside and some um, baby toys and they opened it and they were like, what is this? And I'm like, we're having, we're having a baby. And they're like, they were just like, didn't even say anything. <laughs> like their jaws just dropped. <laughs> like, no, seriously. No, they're like, oh. they're like, are you joking? And we're like, no, for real. And then they started screaming. It was really a fun Christmas morning. And now our youngest uh, kiss Shay's belly every morning and says, hi, baby. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cute. Besides hosting a hit reality show, Shay and Sid are running a booming business, Studio McGee, with 140 employees currently working remotely. In 2016, they also launched a furniture line, and in 2020, they released a best-selling memoir, Make Life Beautiful. But there's no question, life wasn't always so pretty for the McGees. Their journey began nearly a decade ago in Southern California, when they both made the bold decision to quit their day jobs to focus on Shay's promising interior design business. As we were just figuring it out, I mean, we lived in Southern California, we had a mortgage, it was expensive to live there, and we were, we'd run out of money, and we were just doing everything we could to scrape to get by, and so we were like, selling things and realized that in order to give ourselves the runway to start a business, we needed to do something drastic. And so we decided to sell our home and most of our things and then move to Utah to um, live have, off, savings, live and off savings and start our business. And so then that's when Studio McGee was born and uh, we've been in, in Utah and growing our business since. Yeah, I think that was a really, really hard time for us. I mean, for that four year period, when we first moved to Utah, like all we did was like work. And then we came home from our like little downtown office that we had, um, that was in a really rundown part of like downtown Salt Lake. Um, we would play with, you know, our oldest Ren for a little bit, put her to bed, and then we would go back to work again until like 11.30 midnight and do that every day. And that was it. It was, it was hard on our relationship in a lot of ways because everything was new and we were learning and making mistakes and the stakes felt really high. Like if this didn't work out, we had both left careers and this was our savings. So we would have no assets whatsoever. We wouldn't have a house to sell anymore. We would, we already sold that. And then we I think it was like, I think it was like an answer so. to prayers and it kind of showed like we had to kind of have faith that that was going to be the thing that was going to work out because it was a big change for us um, from what we were used to. And so we, we, we decided to commit and go all in, but I believed in it and it was like fun. Like, Hey, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. Let's just keep feeding it with any money that we are able to generate and keep going. And I, I think I felt like I was so excited that people even just wanted my opinion when it came to design, because I think there was a time when I fell in love with design, but was so nervous that no one would ever trust me to design their home. And so even though there was a lot of stressful things, I think we were so excited to just be chasing this like new dream of ours. And I think in a lot of ways it's, you know, our world has changed because we went from it just being us like working at a kitchen table to having a, a real office with a real printer and um, HR people and, and it, th things like that that feel so professional when I look back and you know six seven years ago um, it was it was not that uh, it's kind of crazy to look yeah. at because I think it was just so incremental watching it grow has been so fun to see our team grow and our following on social grow and we've been able to add so many people from all around the world to our community of design lovers. I think we just took turns believing in each other. So when we were having a harder time, like 
I always believe like, hey, Shay, like you're really talented. We should grow this a lot. Like, let's scale it. And then at times, you know, I may be doubting or being really reluctant about things. And she says like, we can do this, like, let's go for it. And so I think that's been something that's really helped us as well as just taking turns, believing in each other and pulling each other along. I uh, <laughs> can't believe we made it. Yeah, I think that never in my wildest dreams would we be here now. I think that- Married to me. Mar <laughs> married to you. I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> I'm very lucky. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we hope to provide for our family, have some clients, maybe sell some products, but to have people from all over the world reaching out to us and telling us that we've inspired them to maybe pursue a new career or a new path or design their home to make it feel more personal to them. I mean, that's incredible.